Hello everyone, this is Sridhar. Would you be shocked to know that you are hypnotized in a very negative way by yourself, your friends, your family members, your colleagues, media and through so many other means. And because of this negative hypnotism, we are actually underperforming. We are not actually showing our full potential. Let's see this in the chapter 4 of the Psycho Cybernetics book on how to dehypnotize ourselves from the bad beliefs which are actually affecting us and which is making us do less than what you are actually capable of. Let me give you an example. I have hypnotized myself that I am a very honest person and a genuine person. Now in this case, I will never steal anybody's property because it is a moral issue for me. I know I am a honest person, I cannot steal others property. If I steal by any way, then I will feel very very guilty. The same way if you have hypnotized yourself as a dumb person, then there is a moral conflict which will happen inside you saying that if you perform well, that is against your definition of yourself, so you are not supposed to do so, you will actually underperform. Let me give you another example where a person is asked to grip a particular object and the gripping force was measured. It was found to be 100 pounds. Now the same gentleman was hypnotized saying that you are stronger than you think. You are capable of more than what you are thinking about yourself. So in this way, since he accepted what the hypnotist suggested are true, he gave a gripping force of 125 pounds and how was this 25 pounds increase was actually possible because he was hypnotized saying that he could actually do well because we believe this is our power this is our capacity actually we have a lot more capacity only thing is we have to believe that we are something more why this limiting beliefs actually started in the first place that is because we started comparing ourselves with other people. Now, if I compare myself with Usain Bolt's running, obviously I am an inferior runner. If I compare myself with Michael Jackson's dancing, then obviously I am an inferior dancer. Now, I have few skills which I am superior when compared to Michael Jackson and Usain Bolt. Now, Usain Bolt and Michael Jackson, they are not going to feel inferior about my skills because they know they are good at something else. I am good at something else. I cannot compare myself with them and they cannot compare themselves with me. Now, we are all born in this world as a unique person. If God wanted everybody to run fast, then he would have created billions of Usain Bolt. Why he created you, me, Usain Bolt, Michael Jackson? Because we are all different. Let us not compare ourselves with other standard. Let us compare ourselves with what we were yesterday and what we want to achieve in this life. In this way, we perform well, we perform better. So, if I am not able to run like an Usain Bolt, then I should consider myself an inferior runner, not an inferior person. The problem happens here only. We people compare ourselves with other people and we feel we are inferior in all the way which is not right. Because the moment you consider yourself as an inferior person, then you frame beliefs based on that. And from there, your actions will be there. So your actions will be actually limiting. You will not be able to perform well, you underperform. We all are good at a particular thing. The only question is, what is that? Now, since we do not know what is that, we start comparing ourselves with other people and we try to become superior because deep inside we are feeling inferior. So now, this trying to become superior will not make us superior. In fact, it will give us a lot of frustration and misery. So instead of fighting against us, let us understand in what we are good at and let us excel in that particular skill. Have you ever thought this inferiority and superiority are like two phase of the coins? But you know the truth is, there is no coin at all because every human being is unique. There is no inferior, there is no superior. We are we, you are you, I am I. So how can I dehypnotize myself from this negative belief which is very important? Only then we can have happiness and success in our life. 
first of all we have to relax ourselves these negative beliefs do you think you got those negative beliefs with your will power your energy hard work no it just came casually the same way your positive beliefs if you want to get then you have to do it in a very casual way first you should be totally relaxed and you have to just have the end goal in your mind so in this case i want to uh, impress you i want to add value to you through my videos so i just have to see the end result what i want and then just be relaxed just do what i am supposed to do automatically i will improve let me explain you with an example how by our limiting beliefs we are not able to outperform we are not able to achieve what we wanted to achieve there was a group of students and these group of students were informed by the teacher students we will be having an exam now normally this exam is for 60 minutes but an average student will be able to finish this exam in 15 minutes he started the exam now after 15th minute there was a bell which rang because of that bell now even the superstar students after the 15th minute they were not able to answer well because they considered themselves below average can you see this this is what is happening to all of us have you noticed in the school our parents used to compare us with other kids that kid is making good marks in maths why why not you this kid is very good in drawing why not you this kid is very good in chess why not you have we ever asked that kid's father is making 1 crore a year why not you i think it's time we start comparing them so that they will not put pressure on us so with this i'm ending this video i want to ask you have you ever compared yourself with anybody it is time you change you change yourself for your betterment now what is that one thing which you are good at you are unique at put it in the comment box let us see let us understand what you are good at and when you know what you are good at that is the starting point where you can actually improvise that i'm super excited to see you all in the next chapter with sharings of my learnings so as always have a great day take care and sharing is caring bye